What do we do first? So first we're gonna make the fresh mozzarella that goes on top of the pizza itself. And you made this? We made this. We're gonna make it together right now, me okay. and you. This okay. is it. First you gotta take your bling off, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you, gotta, you, gotta, you gotta take that off. That's a serious ring. That, <laughs> that's the brass knuckle. Yeah. <laughs> And then you know, it's um, hard to tell you from Brooklyn too. I'm just saying. <laughs> I couldn't tell. I couldn't tell I, when I talked to you. You know, I said, "This guy, where's this guy from?" Hey, <laughs> this is basically like right below boiling, so about 180, 190 degrees. Okay. You don't want it too hot, but you know, uh, you want to keep the fat inside the curds. So. Okay. And the mozzarella is just. You can buy it at the store. So this is kind of, you have to search out. You have to go to your local pork store to get the, the mozzarella curd, which not everyone has. Oh, it's, it's not like regular cheese? It's not yet. It's curd. Right, right. So the process is basically, you know, the curd in the way separates. We're taking the curd, heating it up, salting it, and then forming it into mozzarella, which is also burrata, stracciatella, all different types of cheeses. So we're making the cheese, too. We're making the cheese together right now. And you could see, uh, you know, the different kind of you know, morsels of the curd in there, but as you heat them, it comes together. And then with your hands, if you kind of learn the technique and you have a gentle touch, you see it really starting Look to Look at that. So this is the first step to making the it's pizza. It's like magic. It's magic, it really is. It's <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting in trouble up here. No, I, you. <laughs> I, you're my new hero. Like, first of all, you look so awesome with your tats, and you're so handsome, and you're making pizza, and you have the coolest laugh. <laughs> I love this guy. Um, so now that we have the mozzarella made, we just come over to, to uh, you know, making the sauce. And for this, it's the same thing. It's really easy. It's one, two, three. We're just going to take our hands. For every step of the way, you're taking something else off. I, 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 <laughs> <laughs> no, I couldn't totally ruin my outfit, you know, so I got, I got my I can't my wait till he makes dessert, now. you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> the shirt will be coming up. <laughs> so first we want to add in, you know, the special, really the special sauce, which is, it's anchovies. And people get scared by anchovies when they hear it. But the truth is, is that it's the best background flavor. Just you know? a little bit though, right? Just enough to give it that background flavor and a little bit of saltiness. So we're gonna add a couple of dollops in. This is Sicilian oregano that I really love. Um, my family is from Sicily, so anytime I get to use an ingredient that, you know, it, it relates to home and it relates to where I'm from, it makes it all that better for oh, me. Oh yeah, so, but if you um, have to use regular oregano? Of course, you could go to your local to the store, store okay. and get the, get the dry stuff. And, and this, I kind of just, you know, you kind of break off a bud and take the, Take that. <laughs> but we're old school, but we're a little new school too, you know? All right. All right, so we got the anchovies, the oregano, Correct. Basil. This is some basil, that same thing, just nice and easy, kind of break it up. And okay. then I'm just gonna go in. I'm gonna, you know, add a little bit of salt here. So now, one, two, three, you just go in, and with your, with your hand, you just break it up. Okay. Ooh. You know, the dough is something that we make at the pizzeria and we use really nice flour, we ferment it, but for someone that doesn't have experience making dough or maybe is learning, you could go to your local pizzeria and just ask them for, you Gotta know. get some, oh, that's a great, that's yeah, a great way to start. Yeah, just get a bowl of dough, you, anything that you have left over, you can make garlic knots with, you can make strombolis, there's so much fun stuff you could do. We'll start to put our, our sauce right on top. And what I like to do is really you know, it doesn't matter. You don't have to worry about it. You just kind of put it on where it feels right and let it. It's spread. so different than like what you see a lot of times in a in a pizza restaurant where it'll be like a like a blended puree almost. Right, right. This is so rustic. I love that. So rustic, and you could break it up as much or as little as you want. What I really love to do is make sure that the chunks get to the side of the pan, so when it cooks down, you can really smell like those tomatoes reducing and that smell in the house mm. is really, you know, it's aromatic and it makes you know that dinner is almost ready. And now the best part, of course, you know, is the mozzarella and the same thing. I like to kind of get right to the side with the cheese so you get that crispy cheese on the corner of the pan. I like the I like pizza well done when it, that cheese is a little, yeah. a little burned a little bit. So we're gonna get the oven as hot as we can, you know, maybe five, 600 degrees if we can, pop it in and, you know, 20 minutes, but I, I really like to tell people, use your eyes. Look at it. Yeah, yeah. Can I, can I go for it? Please do, please do. Oh my God, do. look at that. <laughs> Boy. Oh, man. Good? Jerry, just come here real quick. <laughs> Don't forget to get a copy of Munchie's Late Night Meals from the World's Best Chefs. It's a great book. It's in stores now, and everybody in the audience today is going home with one. Stick around. <laughs>